This week's People in Places takes us to Wayne County for a stop at a state historic site that depicts life on a farm back in the 1800s. It's also the boyhood home of one of our state's most controversial governors. This is an 1870s farmstead, and it was the boyhood home of uh, our education governor, um, Governor Charles B. Acock. Two miles south of Fremont sits the Acock Birthplace State Historic Site, opening back in 1959. Governor Acock was born in 1859 here in Wayne County. His family was one of the wealthiest in the area, but his mother lacked education. It's one reason Acock would later be labeled the education governor. He really pushed improving North Carolina's education system when he was governor. He had over a thousand schools built as governor. With the good comes the bad. After ACOC's white supremacy views surfaced, ECU removed his name from a building on campus a few years ago. ACOC's beliefs on race are not celebrated here at the historic site, but they're not ignored either. We also have a section in the visitor center um, that talks about the segregation and integration of schools. Um, it's a little more modern, but it's the 1960s, but we feel like it's important to, to show that aspect of how education has changed over the years. And we also have uh, videos where you can listen to interviews of the uh, first African-American student at Goldsboro High School. These days, the main focus here is depicting what life was like on a North Carolina farm in the 1800s. We have the farm set up the way it would have looked around 1870 when Governor Acock was 10. When people go on a tour, they'll see the, the numerous bedrooms in the house, uh, a parlor, which we would call a living room. There's a detached kitchen as well. This is just a beautiful location to see uh, some of the structures, some of the building, the living uh, settings for farm life in this part of American history or North Carolina history, and it's just beautiful. Philip Moore is here with his family from Wilkes County. I love the schoolhouse, the one-room schoolhouse, as well as the home just behind me. The schoolhouse, as a teacher, just give me, giving me a look at what it would have been like in those days to have had a schoolhouse and be an educator. The one-room school we have was called Oak Plain School, and it was built in the Nahunta area, which is about 10 miles from here. And it was uh, built in 1893 and moved here in 1961. First through seventh grade, there was no kindergarten and no high school, so all the grades would be in there. And just outside the schoolhouse, you'll find plenty of farm animals, chickens, sheep, even a baby calf. It all adds to the authenticity of what this farm and many others in North Carolina were like way back when. We're historians and we love to share North Carolina's histories with folks. So yeah, welcome to come out and get very hands-on. Our animals are very friendly. They'll let you pet them and, and, and play with them. And this weekend, the historic site hosts their Saturday on the Farm event from 10 until 3 Saturday. You can get guided tours, see living history demonstrations, and much more. Please contact me if you know of a person or place you think we should feature here on 9 in Your Side. You can reach me via email or on one of my social media accounts.